And how important is it to automate, in your opinion? For fundamental. Vital. Yeah, vital, <laughs> yes, yeah, vital, yeah. Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we're going to be technically reviewing an automation solution from Holter CNC Automation supplied in the UK from First MTA. And welcome to the MTD Technical Corner, Marcus and Rick. Thank you. Thank good you. To have, good to see you today, guys. Pleasure, now, to, pleasure to be here. Automation is, is massive at the minute. It's a necessity within the UK and around the world, but more so than ever, in, in, in my opinion. Um, be, before we start and review the product, Rick, can you give us a brief overview of, of the Holter CNC automation solutions that you offer? Yeah, sure. So you already said uh, Halter manufacturers, uh, CNC machine tending systems, robotized. And we have three types of products and three sizes of our portfolio. So the first one is the universal with the grid plate. So you can either use that for a lathe or for a milling on 5x machine. The second type we have is a turn stacker. A turn stacker consists of 12 stacking stations, of which 11 you can fill up with raw parts. Hence the 12 is to unload the finished parts. And the third system we have is a mill stacker, so for rectangular parts, typically for a milling or a 5x machine. We also have three sizes, uh, the compact, premium, and we have the big. So our compact is equipped with a 12 kilo Fanuc robot, and our premium is equipped with a 25 or 35 kilo uh, payload robot, and a big with a 35 or a 70 kilo payload robot. So you have a portfolio of automated products to lend themselves to different applications. Correct, yes. Now, with this portfolio of products, in your opinion, what do you believe sets your product aside and what is so special about the whole automated solution? Mm, of course, the, 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 the main word here is, is flexibility and uh, flexibility and simplicity. So what we want to add to a production process is a, is a tending system, automation system that anyone within the company can use. So hence the simplicity. And it needs to be flexible because nowadays with your, uh, the series that are becoming shorter with lead manufacturing, QRM, it's, it's really high mix and low volume. So you need to change over your automation system multiple, multiple times a day. And uh, it can't take longer than five minutes to set up your robot. Otherwise it doesn't really make sense to automate. So that's where, yeah, we are really flexible. So how is this flexibility achieved? Mm. Yeah, the key uh, is really in our software. So it's, uh, it's uh, in my opinion, it's a very well designed software. We call it our smart control. And it uh, really makes, let's say, uh, the robot smart because the, the, it's the operator when writing a, a program that can take maybe maximum of two minutes. Uh, it's the smart control, the software that programs, uh, uh, teaches the robot how to move, where to pick the parts, how to put it in, uh, in the vise, etc. So that's our smart control, the algorithm behind it is really the key. I mean, writing a program in two minutes is very impressive and, and, and simplicity, you're absolutely right. We don't want people to be scared of automation. We want people to embrace um, automation. Now, Marcus, you know, you're already familiar with automation in the UK at, at First NTA. Um, how did this relationship develop and why do you think that this solution will lend itself to the UK market? Um, I think it's perfect for the UK market because, as as Rick was alluding to, the people are needing to do small batches and being able to automate small batches because um, to enable them to be competitive in the in the global market. Um, and if you if you are able to to achieve that, then then that ultimately makes your company more more competitive. Is is it just designed for low volume work? No, it can it can absolutely run. Uh, run and run on on long applications if required, but but one of the issues that I think people are facing in the UK is needing to automate because of a lack of of skilled labour. There's no reason why you can't automate low volume work, is what you're saying. Hundred percent. And yeah. the, the 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 return of investment in that is 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 fantastic. Yeah, I mean, typically, I think whole customers are seeing return on investment within sort of 18 months to two years. Um, so, yeah, return on investment is, is, is rapid. Staying on the theme of flexibility, Marcus, what other solutions does, does this offer? In terms of the, well, in terms of the universal, obviously the ability to, to load components from the second side whilst, whilst, the, whilst the first side is, is currently running. 
um, whether it be loading the a second side of components that you are running at the moment or indeed a different batch of work ready to ready to go as and when it's finished doing the existing Rick, is, is this unique and can you explain how this works in a little bit more detail? Sure. Um, of course, what we have uh, from our grid plates, we have a standard. But if anything comes apart from the standard, what we do, we sit together with our client, we study their products and we can make what we call workpiece specific grid plates. Those can be either laser cut grid plates, but can also be with uh, 3D printed inlays uh, or maybe complete plastic milled uh, special grid plates for exactly yeah for your application, so that's where we that's unique where we step a step uh, set a step further with our client to optimize the automation system for their product. Part specific grid parts, plates. Yeah, part specific. Yeah. Now explain to me how they can be loading um, outside of the machine while the robot is still manning the machine. Right. Yep. So maybe you saw on the video that uh, our grid plate is divided in two and. It's, you can rotate it, or actually the robot will rotate it for you. And the, what we call the A side is on the robot side and the CNC machine. So this will be always com will always continue to be working. And on the B side, we call it the loading area, the operator uh, can open the door, unload finished products, maybe change the grip plates and put new raw, raw parts in. And meanwhile, also program the, 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 the new parts. And the big advantage is that the operator has the flexibility to choose when to do it. So when he presses play for his first batch, he knows I've got two hours to make sure that I unload the finished parts and set up my new batch, so my third batch for today. That gives a lot of flexibility to the operator during his day, how to plan his day. Well, it effectively keeps that spindle turning. Exactly, yeah. It that's... keeps that spindle turning. And, and am I correct in thinking that, for example, that second batch may be a batch of the same components or it could be a batch of completely different components. And again, that's where the, the, the low volume, high mix comes in. Yep. Correct. Now, adding value, how do you add value to a system such as this in such a competitive marketplace? I think the, um, yeah, the, the Holter system, obviously, as a long-term investment, um, will can be moved from machine to machine. It can actually be installed on multiple different machines. So if you, in the case of the Universal, you could have it on a mill and a lathe um, to, to give you some flexibility. Um, and then also in the future, you know, once the life of that machine has, has, has gone, the, the robot can then be re, re interfaced with a new machine um, because the life of a robot is, generally significantly higher than a, than a machine tool. And when you mention machine tools and the different types of machine tools, we've mentioned turning and milling, but does this include you know, fifth axis machine tools, also mill turn machine tools? Yep. Any machine tool? Any CNC machine tool, yeah. Now that is impressive. Now adding value further, you know, clients are very demanding nowadays and they want more and more out of their assets. What different applications can you, can you offer? Yeah. Of course, the basic of our system is tending, loading and unloading. But more and more clients come to us and say, well, look, I need another application for the robot to do. It can be an additional deburring station, maybe a measurement, maybe washing, maybe you want to blow out the parts, etc. Uh, maybe you want to unload them on a conveyor or a box. So this is something that, here comes the smart control again, um, we can add this extra sequence, robot sequence to the smart control, set it as a standard. So modular, you can take in the program, uh, let's say washing, and then it will automatically also calculate all the movements, the length of the part, etc. So it will completely be washed after the sequence. So adding value even further, whilst that while the robot is waiting for the machine tool, instead of that robot standing idle, it's doing another another process, another another operation. Yep. And that is, is, is very, very important and very um, impressive. Now with First MTA, Marcus, obviously you're also involved with automation for turning with bar feed as, as we've mentioned, but work holding comes into play. How does this benefit the client when you can also supply the work holding as well as the automation? Well, I guess you're, you know, we're able to offer a one-stop solution. So you know, the customer can come to us and we can supply the pneumatic devices, we can supply the robot, we can, we can come up with a complete solution for them. So when, when it's coming to installation, um, you know, there's not multiple different people coming and trying to, to build a solution. We, we come and we offer one solution, um, which... The complete solution. Yeah. The complete solution. Yeah. And, and, and obviously, the products sound great. You know, it sounds to me like the smart control is a very key feature to the complete process. But 
in regards to backup support service application support how is this backed up in the uk yeah so there is a um a, a hold to service engineer in the uk um and also backed up with with our service engineers as well so um so yeah the uk support is is there and present and how important is it to automate in your opinion for fundamental vital. yeah vital <laughs> yes yeah vital yeah Guys, absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. So there you have it, the Halter Load Assistant in three different variants. For more information, contact First MTA to find out more.